Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a chalk drawing to share with you today. We are in the middle of our West Africa main lesson block which covers the time periods of about 900 to about 1400 and I'm using this book called Mansa Musa as inspiration for today's chalk drawing. I'm looking at that map thinking that might be a really good idea but as I flip through the book I'm going to find something that's going to work better. Now we've used this picture book as part of our main lesson block and you can find more projects and all the books that we use for this main lesson block at the blog post that accompanies this video, you can find that link down in the description box below. So I've chosen the inspiration for today's chalk drawing. I'm going to be using my Sargent Art Square Chalk Pastels. I don't have that many left in this palette here, but I am going to make do with it. And I'm also going to be using my chalkboards. These are small-ish <laughs> chalkboards because I do have a really large four by six foot chalkboard in our homeschooling room that's mounted on the wall that currently is being used for a different unit. So I'm using these smaller chalkboards which measure about two feet by three feet and you can find them at paper, scissors, stone, waldorfsupplies.com. I really liked these smaller chalkboards because they're going to blend the color super well as you watch this chalk drawing unfold you're going to see so many layers of chalk and I am so pleased with the way that it turned out in the end it was actually really challenging I thought I was choosing something really simple it actually turns out to be quite difficult uh I don't know why but it was <laughs> so every once in a while you'll see me lift up the chalkboard what I'm doing is I'm actually blowing off the extra chalk because I created a lot of additional chalk dust as I'm doing this because I am layering these colors over one another and they, they blended so well. In the past, especially with my large chalkboard, it would basically just remove the layer of chalk underneath and just kind of replace it and I couldn't layer the colors really well. So I really like these chalkboards. Plus, they're smaller, they're affordable. So I highly recommend that you check them out because they're going to allow you quite a lot of versatility while you're doing your chalk drawings. So I have started from the back moving forward. So I started with the sun and you can see the little uh, inspiration at the top corner of the screen so that you can see what I am trying to go for and how I am layering the colors in order to mimic that same illustration from the book. But I started from the back moving forward because that way I can layer the chalk and I don't have to come in tightly over the the images in the foreground in order to do things in the background. So the drawing is going to look like nothing unless you can start to work with shading. And I am not uh, artistic naturally by any means. And so I am copying this as much as I can because in the end, it's the shading that really allows this chalk drawing to come to life, to have that dimension and to really make it look like the image that I am trying to copy. Now, I get through the entire chalk drawing and at the very end, I actually go back in and I do a little bit extra shading. So I'm going to show you that because once I stood back and I looked at it and I took some pictures of it, I was really pleased with it. But then I could see where I was lacking with my shading and where the highlights versus the shading kind of didn't match exactly. That's okay. Because it's chalk, you can go back in, you can rework it. And sometimes it does take stepping away from the project to look at it from a distance to really see what you need to do and that's what allowed me to come back in and do a little bit of extra shading here and there. Now it doesn't look like much as you're working through it but when you're done and you can see all of the colors come together it really does look magnificent in my opinion. I was really pleased with the way it turned out. However, it did take a half an hour to do and I was really trying to choose something that was going to be simple that I could just put together really quickly because for this unit when I was doing it we had a chalk drawing of the Silk Road and Asia and while we were doing that main lesson block, I learned about Mansa Musa and the golden age of West Africa. And so we diverted a little bit, but I didn't actually have a chalk drawing to share for that. And so I put this together uh, afterwards on a smaller chalkboard. And that's why we kind of have it this way versus like on the big chalkboard, which would span the entire main lesson block. Now I did have to layer a lot of colors. Primarily I am doing a lot of the rose and blue colors for kind of a lavender sky, which I really love. It's different than your typical blue sky and it gives a warmth to this 
illustration that you might expect if you were in the desert with the the really bright yellow sun and the warm sandy tones. And so I really like that we use more of this warm sky color and then this warm sun and then of course all of those browns for the sandstone mosque or the sandstone structure I really like the way it turned out and i did border the chalk drawing the same way that you can see in the illustration and i think that gives it like a nice finished enclosed uh look and i i really like the, the way that turned out in the end now you can find more information about the chalks that i've used as well as the chalkboard on the blog post that accompanies this video and it also has all of the books that we use in case you want to look into them because we're using a book for drawing inspiration but there were many choices that you could choose from. So here's where I'm adding just a little bit more shading and detail because I, I felt like that little structure just kind of lost itself. So I know the, the whole lighting is different. I finally got this into my schoolroom, and here uh, you can see that additional shading right there uh, on that structure. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this tutorial so that you can find out more information about our whole main lesson block. You can also tap on the screen right now if you want to check out some of the other tutorials that we have for these main lesson blocks on history, as well as tutorials on some of the projects that we did. And if you want to see how our homeschool is progressing on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.